Hey creator, if you haven't seen our video about translating props, check that out first. Otherwise, let's follow this bean and dive into part two of the Transform mini-series, all about rotation. Just as you learned with translation, props can be rotated in both the local and world space. In the inspector, the rotation property works on a degree system for each axis. So adding 90 to the Z value will cause the prop to rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis. And because rotation is additive, you can keep adding 90 to the value indefinitely, even going past 360 degrees. This is called modular or clock arithmetic. For example, this function rotates a spinning bar by some amount over some time period and can loop this rotation indefinitely, meaning the total rotation value could get unwieldy. The editor automatically calculates the effective rotation, but you should know how to do it too. For example, to simplify a rotation of 810, start by dividing 810 by 360, which is 2.25. Then take the decimal, which is 0.25, and multiply it by 360. This equals 90, which is the effective rotation of the bar. But what happens if you rotate a prop by negative 90 degrees? Pop the rotation gizmo on and take a look. When you rotate a prop by 90 degrees on the blue Z axis, it rotates clockwise. Rotating it in the negative direction rotates it counterclockwise. If you wanted to translate that prop, things get a little complicated. This is because you can translate a prop in either the local or world space. Even if a prop is rotated, translating it in the world space will move it absolutely throughout the world grid. But if you translate in the local space, the translation gizmo will rotate to match the object's rotation. As you can see, rotation and translation are connected, which is why, along with scale, they are all properties of the transform component. You can use the rotation and translation gizmos to manipulate a prop in the different spaces and understand how they affect each other. You can also learn more about rotation from the documentation online. Then, follow our bean to the next video to learn about scaling.